Girl, you know I need you know need you know I 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 need you know yeah, but we back after the episode of the retwist, man. Yes. Coming at y'all. I ain't peeped it. We got content out all up all week. Monday man. mix is out. Flame, go check that. Yes. All our other content is in the description, so go peep that as exactly. well. You're late. But it's retwist time, we and of course, fun. Locke is blessing us with another great retwist today. We'll be talking about Vibes Cartel <laughs> and. Donald Glover, aka Childish Gambino. I can't even say Childish Gambino no more because he like way dead at that like six months ago. So I can't even. Did he though? If he drops another project as Childish Gambino, he's not dropping another project as Childish Gambino. We don't know. That's what he said. We gonna wait and see. But both these people are goats, legends in my opinion. Uh, what you got for us today, man? Man, we gonna start off with vibes. No, I feel like. Yeah, we gonna start off with vibes. Because I feel like it's. Free the world, boss, of course. Of course, of course. I man getting out. I called it. I man getting out in the next 12 months. We're gonna Damn. get into the reason why he in jail in the first place in a minute. But I feel like vibes, like you said, he a world boss, man. He just, he just, he a goat. He one of the people that just expanded the dance hall culture, expanded dance hall Everyone. sound. It's a whole other wave. Every Jamaican hero. Everybody that doesn't know who Vibes Cartel is out yeah. there, that's of course dance hall reggae artist. Yeah. Vibes Cartel, the world boss. Yeah, uh, man. I mean, you got respect Gaza for everybody. King. Anybody that, that's, that's, that's doing dance hall, right. like making any type of music like that, they always, it's, it's respected. He put on a lot of people yeah. like PopCon and um, Tommy Lee Sparta as yeah. well. Yeah. And a lot of people, Russian. literally Russian as well, the yeah. producer who we talked about a couple weeks ago, mm -hmm. he literally sprouted so many different lanes and paths. And of course, this week we've been talking about diversifying. Yeah. Men is the definition of diversifying, diversity, versatility, all of those type of. Yeah, yeah. especially with him coming from from the Jamaican culture, where it's like that that, that island. It when you get big, it becomes a, becomes really small. I right. mean, for an artist, you know what I mean. So I feel like Vibes one of the first people. Well, not one of the first people. I'm not gonna say the first people, but like one of the people who were able to at least do it the most efficiently that we've seen since like since like the Marleys, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm gonna say Marleys, Jamaica, yeah. the name Mar Marley because they just um, they just a brand still in pushing. Itself, like, but, uh, Vibes, of course, as well as I say it a lot. Controversy sells. He's one of those. Yeah. We talked about alkaline in the past and people that are always cheap keef as well. People that are very controversial. Yeah. And Vibes Cartel, of course, is one of those people. Uh, he experienced bleaching. Obviously, he's in jail yeah. right he, now. He be bleaching the skin. That's a whole other way. But like, that's already taboo um, in Jamaica as yes. well. Like, not only taboo here and stuff like that, but also taboo in Jamaica. Just bleaching the skin and stuff. But also, uh, just a whole bunch of stuff. His just, lyrics, yeah, obviously. Yeah, his lyrics just be wild. And plus, like, the charges. Like, the fact he's in jail right now yeah. um, is one of the most controversial su subjects of his career. Surrounding, yeah. Yeah, because it's just some wild. We're going to actually we're gonna buy into that right now. He's been in jail since 2011. So it's been about six years uh, he's been in jail. Um, no, Still dropping music, no, of course. Yeah, but he's been dropping music almost every year. Uh, constantly <laughs> dropping singles, dropping disses, projects. dropping projects. And, um, but he's been in justice 2011, not being able to record, he's been denying any allegations that he's been able to record well, under, under, you know. Do we believe that? I, I don't believe that, but. I mean, but I don't, I don't know. I mean, but the thing is, we all, I mean, okay, we all, we all move forward, right? Because the thing is, it's so many different things playing a part in this, so. But after he went to jail, he got arrested initially for just, for just possession, for having, having weed on him, um, went to jail for having, having weed on him. Which is now illegal in and Jamaica to smoke. He, Right though, you know what I'm saying. But after that, uh, he was charged with with uh, two murders. He was subsequently charged with two murders, and he was eventually convicted in 2014 after for the murder. Sketchy kind of trial. It's an extremely sketchy. We're gonna actually get into that right now. He was convicted in 2014 though for killing an associate. Uh, I think his name was Bossman, a bossy, something like that. I'm actually gonna find Bossman. Him. Yeah, because he was uh, he he was an associate of his. You know what I mean? Just somebody he was he was working with, 
And um, act, actually, the dude name was Lizard. It was Clive Lizard, Clive Lizard. Williams. I forgot about that because that's what the Lizard. text message was about. So he was, um, it was one of the people he was just, he was just working with, you know what I'm saying? But that's what he eventually got convicted on. He was charged for the murder of him and his other guy. The other one fell off. Um, but with this one, he got convicted. 24, he got convicted to life. He, so he's in jail for life um, since 2014. So it's been three years of you know serving his life prison term. He's available. I mean, he's, he's eligible for parole in I think 2049. Um, right but now. they might retrial, of course, which is a lot of that's been circulating recently. That the appeal is coming retrial. next year. Yeah, the his appeal. Appeals, the appeal is coming next year. It's gonna be crazy. But which would make 2018 a crazy, crazy year as far as Jamaican artists coming out. Buju Bantan is free um, December 2018 as well. It's gonna be crazy. So it's gonna free be crazy. vibe, free Buju as well. Real, real, real. Yeah. And, but I also want to talk about this though. He was convicted in 2014. In 2014, that's when dancehall really, you know, started breaking out. That's when Drake started. Oh, okay, you're talking about, yeah. Yeah, it started like becoming more of the pop lane where we're at right now, kind of. It's just, I feel like they, they, I don't know, man. I feel like it's a, I mean, and you you know how how people feel about the case, about how people feel about vibes, how they feel about the people who got them convicted. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of mixed feelings. A lot of people feel like he could be, he's the God MC, like, He's the next, he is the present, like, God MC, the, the person who's running dance hall, the person who's done everything that we see today. Um, but some people see him as being like, you the know. other side of the spectrum. Yeah, like the devil, basically. Like, man, that's the ultimate evil. You know what I mean? So, and some people, even a lot of people in government, they, they love vibes. I'm pretty sure the whole country is fairly divided like that. Yeah. I mean, I know at least all the people I associate with that Noah Vibes cartel, that's kind of how they feel about him. You know what I mean? He is so versatile. And obviously, I feel like he has had an influence in what we see today as more of that the lane, you know what I mean? People like Alkaline, people like Popcorn, who are popping in that scene as well, or at least popping now. They spawned literally from his influence, you know what I mean? Spawned from his path. Yeah. And, and now they're diversifying it, making it what it is making it different so it's not his anymore but it's still influenced yeah i mean I, I feel like he's still like he was one who planted those seeds you know even back in like 04 you my know, cousin still, always says popcorn was like vibes little uh good son and then tommy tommy lee sparta is like his little devil child <laughs> side of him right 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 so yeah there's his two spawns right there because cartel got that he got, those, he got those two sides to him, man. And he but then even PopCon, not man. always necessarily always. I mean, no. The pos most positive. And I mean, because PopCon, I mean, look at what he came up under, you know what I'm saying? And he's getting to a point now where he want to he wanna be Vibes. He want to be like Vibes. He want to reach that point where he can be like Vibes. But Vibes never got on the Drake song. Exactly. So that's that's where it's coming in question for we already know that but yeah but vibes is already talked about we want to talk about this as well because he dropped so much all the music he's been dropping right crazy so do you do you think he's recording music in jail i like i said i think he somehow is still we had that bust the rhymes video that recently came out i believe yeah. about two couple weeks ago yeah, that was crazy that that's a that's the biggest piece of evidence to me that tells me that he's getting out and i'm, that he's I'm forgetting the name of the song off the top but um, I'll find it right bust the rhymes vibes cartel tory lanes they have a video out decent song if you haven't heard that song and watched the video definitely go check it out definitely pictures vibes in prison on his verse. And he's rapping in the jail cell. Like you read recording through jail, through jail Girlfriend. Bars. Yeah, it's called Girlfriend. And it's like a whole story. They like go to Jamaica, yeah. Beanie Man. Busta the, made it a whole story. Salute it, Busta. So. It's so wild, man. And they kicking it and then Vibes is really in jail rapping. So. They pull up on the jail. Or the they prison. really they go to the prison. So it's just, I'm like, yeah, he getting out. Cause he, at verse, it's just like, and then the, the thing about the disses, I didn't even know about that for real for a minute until I had just some research on him. But I found out about the whole PopCon having the issues with Movado. Right, and right. And, um, and so Vibes dropped the track, you know, and, and he dissing Movado. But he got, and this was like in 2013, 2014 when that beef was happening. But Vibes had been in jail for two years already. So like, how did you, 
You just recording disses just in case? Like, I don't. And we don't really know. There's no way to prove it. The man's still dropping music. Uh, he just dropped something off a, a Russian project. Uh, yeah. The Kremlin. He just dropped that, yeah. The Moscow Rhythm, excuse me. And his song is Kremlin. Very um, relevant verse to the times. Very relevant, yeah. You know what I mean? Like to say Tupac. the least. It's like some Tupac stuff. It might be doo doo. It's just way too relevant, man. So, relevant. and that's brand new. So, I yeah. mean, was that in the stash? How many verses did he record before he got, he got said, locked up? Like he said he recorded breakneck speed, whatever that is, man. But if it's like anything, like, I don't know, it don't, it, to be going six years, having tracks, he just dropped a single. Projects, bro. he dropped projects as well. Bro. King of Dance Hall. Exactly. I dropped my car, like, you what, last, last year? Last year, yeah. yeah so. 2016. Yeah, exactly. So, vibes, man. Vibes obviously figured out how to diversify, but he's in jail for yeah. life at this point. So obviously it didn't work out that well. He's still figuring out a country. Days, yeah, it's days is distorting everything, as we but, like to say. But at some point, I mean, I feel like he's figuring a way to conquer it somehow because he's dropping tracks. But maybe that was just preparation. But I know he's still getting money. That's a fact. He got bank, bro. He's dropping albums, like you said. So with that being said, we're gonna roll into Childish Gambino, aka Dumb Brother. I wanna drop the Childish Gambino completely. I feel like just cause out of respect for that man. I mean, I said it was dead, so. Donald, that's his real name. So if you wanna call him by his real oh, name, I mean, Blood, so. I'm sure he'll respect that. Okay. If you don't know who that is, of course, um, writer, actor, Dude. author, director, Dude. Yeah. rapper. Yeah. Am I missing something? Producer. Producer. Yeah, all all of guy. everything. I don't yeah. there's not many things this man can't do type. Well, either. Yeah, he does all these things exceptionally as well. So he's uh but he's I mean he's one of the GOAT, like you said earlier. Um he started off as a writer for NBC's Thirty Rock, a yes. Tina Fey show that Back was on in NBC. The day. Yeah, he was writing for them. Um made a name for him, so Tina Fey gave him a chance. And he's able to make some out of it. Ended up getting it, getting on his own sitcom on NBC Community, and held that for like six seasons. And that ended up being, you know, one of the, one of the coolest, you know, one of the coolest type of shows that I, I really started watching. I feel like it was a vibe. I feel like it hit a certain vibe. audience. You know what I mean? Yeah, I feel like they bring another type of show like that back for real too. That was just a vibe, like. But um, but also with that, he went six seasons. At That's that point, crazy. yeah, exactly right, like. 60. He was acting heavily, heavily, heavily acting, writing, and yeah, pretty like much probably doing heavily involved stuff behind the scenes as well. I'm sure, I'm sure. But at that point, you saw him leave and go do music completely. You know, yeah. didn't he have a standout stand-up show? Yes, right around that Weirdo, time. Weirdo, yeah. I actually own that stand-up. Man, that's classic. Crazy. Yeah. If you haven't seen that, you're sleep. You're really sleeping. Man, opinion. when you when you watch the stand-up, you can really see the influences behind his writing yeah. and his uh his delivery his and stuff. persona when you watch itself him deliver it. yeah yeah i mean when you because you look at a lot of old like the one some of the classic stand-up specials like uh like raw eddie murphy's raw or uh richard pryor on sunset boulevard or um or even like even uh chris rocks you know when he had the all leather you know he classic. was going hard all those are classic class you can you can almost reach and bring those jokes out right now but like and they're still relevant exactly but you look at like the delivery he had in weirdo you can see it like he was still he was pulling it from them but he was making it his own you know just sort of bringing a whole nother taste to it i find that's what he does with his music what he does with, with his writing with his jokes with his with his shows that he's done i would much. fuck with another donald glover stand up so if you're listening where it at where that you know what i mean yeah. but more recently Obviously, he has his award-winning show, Atlanta. Mm -hmm. His music, obviously, is surpassed to a whole nother level. Yeah. Obviously, with the most recent dropping, yeah. forgetting the name. Oh, you With single with the red bone and all that. Yeah, Awaken My Love, yeah. Awaken My Love. That yeah. was a vibe, man. And I feel like after that, you know, he, he stated, you know, Childish Gambino was done. But I feel like that's only because he's... That's the willingness right there. I feel like a lot of people don't let the monikers die because they feel like they need to be able to go back to that and relive that part of their lives. You know, they feel like they need it to be available. He's evolved to a whole nother level. I feel like he could call himself it or 
DG or whatever the fuck yeah, he wants yeah, to yeah. call it and make whatever he wants and it'll be successful. So yeah, I mean that's the that's the beauty of being able to be able to find a variety in your in your in your skill set in your in your vibe in your life. You know what I mean? And you see that he's obviously conquering the things well because now he's like, okay, I'm done with music. I've done great. I dropped a couple of projects throughout past what seven years. Didn't right. drop consistent amount of projects, quality projects. And if you really look at his projects as well, they're there's more than just music there. There's screenplay, you know what I mean? There's a whole story. Yeah. Uh, we look at, because of the internet, mm -hmm. camp before that, it was a whole story, whole message behind the album. He obviously had videos as well. And Stone Mountain Kawhi as well. It was like one of the most, right. most we, abstract, most, uh, most narrative projects I feel like he had done. Jaden Smith as one of his characters who was literally doing a more spoken word putting it out on a platter, the message and really the story itself, so. And I feel like he was just, I mean, some people may have felt like, oh, he was just, you know, may have been reaching, but he was reaching for a whole nother taste, a whole nother feel, a whole nother True. vibe. And I feel like he essentially accomplished that. I mean, personally, I feel like I feel like he did. Um, and now, I mean, he's moving on to movies. Right. At this point, you know what I mean? He was in Star Wars. Crazy. It's crazy, bro. Lion King, he just got announced for that Lion King joint, too. Bro. You didn't see that? Yeah, he just got announced for that Lion King, the new remake of the Lion King. I'm not too sure if it's a play or a movie, but <laughs> new Lion King on the way. Is he Rafiki? Um, no, I forget who he is. I can't be Rafiki. Beyonce's in it as well. What? Like they got this. The cast is crazy. I don't even know if it's real to be honest. Type. <laughs> okay, we need to we need to find that link with that description. We can find that. So, <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, though. No. Yeah, that's it for today's retwist. So, of course, both those artists are in the mix. So, if you haven't heard that, go peep. It's flame. Until next time, y'all. That's right, man. Till next week. Peace.